All right, let's do some more speed ac exercises. So, so here we want to prove this inequality. So, first, remember 1.3 says x, the norm of the difference between x and y is less than or equal to the sum of the two norms. And this is really important because um, we end up being able to use this a lot. For example, if you look at this difference here, well, x is the same thing as x minus y plus y because minus y plus y equals 0. All right, and we can put this x minus y in parentheses just to sort of indicate that's a distinct thing because we can now use the um, the inequality from 1-3 on this thing and break it up into this part and this part, i.e. this is less than or equal to the norm of x minus y because that's that part plus the norm of y, which is that part. Um, but then, of course, we've got this part over here, and we need to include that. Um, but this is just equal to the norm of x minus y. Let's see here. Okay. This holds for any x and y this inequality, this thing being less than or equal to this thing. We just proved that in general for any x and y. So what do we have? Um, so if you take y and we subtract y minus x, or actually let's subtract x minus y. Well, this is the same thing as the norm of y minus the norm of y minus x. And now we can apply this previous inequality here. And so if you've got two things in norm and you're taking the difference, it's less than or equal to this norm. So um, this thing must be less than or equal to the norm of y minus y or minus the quantity y minus x. Because what we're doing is we're taking this x here and replacing it with y, and we're taking this y here and replacing it with y minus x. That's all we've done. And we're able to do that because x and y are, are arbitrary. All right, so um, now what? What do we do with this? So, okay, so then this is going to be well this is y minus y minus x this is just the norm of x thus if we take this so we have this part so this thing is less than or equal to this thing and if we move um, what are we going to move uh, we're going to move this thing over to the other side and so we have negative x minus y is going to be less than or equal to, and then we have the norm of x minus the norm of y. So what have we proven? We've proven that the norm of negative x minus y is less than or equal to the norm of x minus the norm of y, which is less than or equal to the norm of x minus y. This is the second thing we proved, and this is the first thing we proved. And ha and was this equivalent to, which is equivalent to saying that the absolute value of this difference is less than or equal to the norm of x minus y. These two equations are the same thing. And hey, this is this is what we wanted, and so we're done. And how would you figure out this? Um, solution in the first place. What you'd actually do is, I've just presented it in a way that makes it really logical and straightforward um, so that you can like follow along and see how 
you actually prove this, but the way you find, you figure out the proof is you actually work backwards. You start with this, and you realize, oh, well, I don't know how to deal with this absolute value over here, but I know I can break it up into um, this equation here. And then you try to prove each of these inequalities separately, and you prove those inequalities using 1-3. Um, so a little bit of just like pushing symbols around, but this is a very important um, inequality in analysis, and it's good to know how to derive it and sort of know that you can just derive it based on um, that previous proposition um, that said this thing. Um, and yeah, that about does it for this proof.